seventh race, 2004 Classic Oaks Championship Final, and they're off and trotting, uh, and moving right off the wings of the gate for early position was Windy Lane Hanover, but she's not fastest. Charging out in the middle was Lost Lady 1. Sunday Yankee is up to assume the early lead, and stroke play will be right on the back of Windy Lane Hanover, sitting in there third and fourth. They go into the first turn. Five mares back, four gypsy balance, three more lengths to Dresden Dolly. Moving third from last, Queen Connie was taken back. She is at the flank of Meadowland Miracle, and Scully FBI along the inside. Windy Lane Hanover is up and moving at the quarter. Right on her back is stroke play. They've moved out quickly from third and fourth, 29 and two, the opening split, and readying to pass in front of the grandstand. Windy Lane Hanover and Ron Pierce drive up to take the lead. Sunday Yankee yields. Stroke play is now caught on the outside as they ready to come to the wire for the first time. Lost Lady One sits in there from fourth. Gypsy Balance not far away in fifth. Dresden Dolly, two more lengths is sixth in line. Just ahead of Meadowland Miracle, second to last Scully FBI, and Queen Cunny was trailing. Stroke play took the lead. 58 and one was the half. 28 and four rating in the second quarter. They move into the back stretch for the final time. Stroke play up to take the lead. Windy Lane Hanover post time favored in search of a series sweep here in 2004. Sits along in second and they're on their way to the three quarters. Sunday Yankee on the inside third. Lost Lady one. Biding her time from fourth. Gypsy Balance is now hemmed up from fifth and Dresden Dolly has made an outside rush and there she goes for Trevor Ritchie moving up on the outside. Going to track her cover intently is Scully. FBI Windy Lane Hanover pops the pocket with stroke play on the way to the final turn. Second to last on the inside, Meadowland Miracle, and ninth on the outside was Queen Connie, and Windy Lane Hanover is again on the lead. They pass three quarters in 129 and four. The mile rating coming up next. Windy Lane Hanover, stroke play onto the final turn. Sunday Yankee is third. Lost Lady one is fourth, and Dresden Dolly has made it up to fifth. Gypsy Balance is sixth on the inside. Scully FBI trying for more advancing cover. Seventh at the outside, Queen Connie. Started up from eighth, and Meadowland Miracle is ninth on the cones. Windy Lane Hanover looking strong and confident, but stroke play is right on her back, and it should be a great stretch duel of these world champion mares. 158 and three was the mile rating swinging into the stretch. It's the 2004 Classic Oaks Championship final. Windy Lane Hanover suddenly left them all behind. Ron Pierce and Windy Lane Hanover striding away, endeavoring to stay for second is stroke play. Third on the outside, Sunday Yankee. Windy Lane Hanover late urging. Stroke play is coming late. Here comes stroke play. Stroke play steals the victory from Windy Lane Hanover and Sunday Yankee. Stroke play and Brian Sears in a stunning late strides victory. 240 and four fifths. Number one stroke play is back in the Mohawk winner circle, taking the final of the 2004 Classic Oaks. Yankee Glide, four-year-old bay mare, from Ley, owned by Jorgen Yari Jr. of Sundjaford, Norway. Trainer Tron Smetshammer, driven to victory by Brian Sears. That's her third win in four starts this year. It's a classic series, stakes record 240 and four-fifths at a mile and three-eighths for stroke play. Congratulated in the winner's circle with the presentation by Dr. Moira Gunn of Armstrong Brothers in Inglewood, Ontario. Armstrong has been one of the leading breeders in North America for several years, for many decades, one of Canada's greatest standard bred nurseries. The leading breeder of Ontario Sire Stakes performers again in 2003. Armstrong will be making the final offering of 36 Armbro yearlings at the 2004 Forest City Sale.